Now, when it comes to AMC stock, there's been a lot of excitement and a lot of volatility recently because of this AMC stock dividend. AMC Preferred Equity Units, or APE, is going to be distributed to shareholders towards the end of the month, and this is going to make some major changes to the AMC stock short squeeze saga that we've been going through for over a year and a half now. It could drastically reduce the amount of short interest or the amount of short shares that are outstanding compared to the amount of shares that are outstanding, and this could be a, it's a very big deal when it comes to the short squeeze. Now, it could be excellent, right? We could see the fact that there are millions or billions of naked shares outstanding, or we could drastically reduce the overall short interest in AMC, and I wanna talk about why. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting six free stocks, $1 crypto trade. You're going to get $5 in free crypto. And, it, you know, I want to jump into this. Because I was going through the live stream earlier, and, and I believe it was Frank had a great question and kind of sparked this entire thought process about APE being a dividend and the short shares being required to pay this dividend. And I know I've gone back and forth with, with Frodo on this as well, another live stream. You guys don't hang out in the live stream. I don't know why not. You better hang out in the live stream sometime. But nonetheless, it got us thinking about the fact that shorts have to cover and have to to pay the dividends on these short shares that they have outstanding in AMC. What does that mean? Anytime you short a stock, whether it's AMC stock or any other stock for that matter, the short seller is required to cover any dividends. Now, this is interesting when it comes to normal cash dividends because it simply means that they have to go out, find the cash, and cover that share. And with the cash dividend, what usually happens, let's say that AMC was trading at $20 per share, and there's a $5 cash dividend. Now, that would be a special dividend, yes, but nonetheless, let's say there's a $5 cash dividend. AMC drops down to $15 per share, and then the, the short seller, made their 15 or made their $5 because AMC dropped down to $15 and therefore that $5 that they made they can use to cover and and pay that dividend to the AMC holders that they shorted that stock to. Now it's interesting when it is a stock a stock dividend like we're seeing with AMC because they're going to be required to go out buy those shares of Ape and distribute them to the people that they have shorted to. Now, of course, we know that AMC is going to fall in value accordingly, so they're going to make that money on the decline in AMC, but they're going to be required to buy those shares of APE. Now, this is where it becomes interesting, because if the current holders, if the current retail investors in AMC Entertainment are unwilling to sell their shares of APE, it's going to put these guys in a pickle. And this is what we were talking about in the live stream today. If they're unable to get those shares of APE, off of AMC investors, it could be a great thing for both AMC and APE. Both of those shares could see price increases because hedge funds are unable, these short sellers are unable to cover their shares of APE that they need to, or not necessarily cover, but uh, distribute those shares of APE to those that they have shorted the stock to. And remember, they're on the hook for roughly 100 million shares. That's the reported short interest out there. So they are on the hook to deliver 100 million shares of APE to those that they have shorted to. Now, let's just say they, that they do that, okay? If they do that, this is going to be bad for the AMC stock short squeeze. Why? Follow me. I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, this guy's talking about bad news again. Who is he? <laughs> what a shill. But we need to look at the truth, right? We need to look at the numbers. We need to look at what's happening out there if we want to stay in this AMC stock play. If they are able to buy the 100 million shares of APE, it may cause a slight bump up in the price of APE, but if they're able to buy and deliver those shares, what do we have? All of a sudden, yes, they still owe the 100 million short shares on AMC, but now all of a sudden, there's a billion shares outstanding. 
for AMC Entertainment. Yes, there's 500 million in AMC, and yes, there's 500 million in Ape, but nonetheless, both of those shares are equal in every aspect of the word. They're equal in voting power. They're equal in potential dividend reception. They're equal in, in their equity ownership in AMC Entertainment. So now there's a billion shares that are outstanding. I don't care what the ticker is. There's a billion shares that are outstanding for AMC Entertainment, yet only 100 million need to be covered at that point. This is going to put the short squeeze in a very dangerous situation. If there's only 100 million shares that need covered and there's 1 billion shares that are outstanding, we have a 10% short interest. That is no different than any other stock out there. That is not, you, you don't get short squeeze candidates when short interest is hovering around the average short interest. That is what could potentially happen if the hedge funds go out there and actually are able to deliver that dividend. So what does that mean? That means if we are going to be in this thing, we need to make sure that they can't get their hands on APE either. Now look, that's the situation where they can cover their APE shares. There is also a situation where we continue to hold our shares of Ape, and we do not sell those shares of Ape. What happens in that situation? They will be able to borrow them. Guys, fortunately, unfortunately, however you want to look at it, people are willing to lend their shares out. Whether it's the institutions who loan it to an institution, who loans it to an institution, and it gets lent four or five times, they are still willing to lend it out. So if that happens and they're able to borrow another 100 million shares of Ape to deliver those shares of Ape to the AMC shareholders that they shorted to, we are in the exact same situation as we are now. That is what we must see if we expect to keep the 20% short interest that we currently have. Because in that situation, they will owe 100 million shares of AMC and they will owe 100 million shares of Ape as well. Now I know it sounds like twice as many shares outstanding, but remember, the price is cut in half on both. Everything in total stays the same. The 100 million shares of AMC are at half price. The 100 million shares of Ape are at half price. And it's 200 million now compared to the overall 1 billion shares that are outstanding. So guys, the name of the game is don't give them our shares of Ape. Don't give them our shares of AMC. And we can't give them any dilution. I know you guys, some of you have been, there's no other way to put it. Some people have been brainwashed that dilution is going to be good for you as an investor. It is good for AMC's bank account. AMC doesn't need another $1.6 billion in the bank. I need, you need, we need to split that $1.6 billion between the retail investors and squeeze AMC. AMC doesn't need to do another equity distribution. AMC doesn't need to dilute any further and have tens of billions of dollars in the bank. It is our money, guys. We have been here. We saved AMC. It is our turn to get paid. We don't put more money in AMC's bank. We put it in our bank. So these are the two situations that could play out with AMC and the APE distribution right now. We absolutely need to see these shares unavailable and, and not going into the hands of the hedge funds if we expect this short squeeze to stay alive. In any additional distribution of APE, it is going to go directly to institutions. It is not going to be sold directly to retail investors. It's going to go directly to institutions. And at that point, guys, don't think that it, don't think the, the distribution or don't think the dilution is your friend. Let me know what you guys think about this situation down in the comments below. Whether or not we stay at 20% short interest or we drop down to 10% if these people and these short sellers out there are able to go eat up shares of ape let me know down there in the comments of course this button right here is still red make sure to click it subscribe to the channel join us become a bro we are here every single day we are growing our portfolios together you guys got claybro883 on twitter and instagram getting six free stocks on weeble and until the next time hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day